Okay, this is our dog Toby, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a cleansing wash for their ears. Now, this was recommended by our veterinarian, so it's okay to use. Uh, you just want to make sure that your dog doesn't have uh, any kind of like eardrum issues or ear mites or anything like that. Because those will have to be uh, treated by the vet. But this is just for general maintenance to keep their ears clean. Um, they have a tendency, dog's ears do get dirty and waxy inside and they have a tendency as you can tell by his ears that they are kind of oily and as like I said this is this was recommended by the veterinarian to use so it is safe I'm not sure if you could use it on like cats or anything like that or not but you can probably ask your vet so I'm gonna show you how to mix this up and exactly how to apply it uh, to their in, inside of their ears okay the ingredients for this our distilled white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and isopropyl or isopropyl alcohol. So I'll show you how to mix this up. Okay, and what you want for this, this is just an old dishwashing bottle that's been cleaned out really good. And this is what I use to mix this in. So make sure that you have the squirt top with it. And I just want equal parts of everything, and I'm just going to mix up what I need at the time for two dogs, since we have Toby and Albert both to do, because your uh, peroxide will kind of go flat. So, it's a quarter cup of the alcohol. quarter cup of the peroxide and quarter cup of the vinegar okay we're gonna go ahead and wash their ears out uh, I recommend when you do this to take them outside because they will probably shake like crazy and most likely roll um, also, if you have an inside dog, you probably want to do this right before you bathe them because they're going to get full of whatever's in your yard. So, as I said, I just pop the top on this and just want to pull the ear leathers back. And whenever you tip this up, don't squeeze it forcibly because it doesn't really take any force to get this in their ears. So you just want to kind of let it dribble in there. And usually what I do is I'll go ahead and massage their ear after it's in there. You can hear it. It's like I said, I think the fizzing from the peroxide is what makes them roll and everything. But this is, like I said, this will break down that wax and the dirt and stuff that's in their ears. Especially if you have a dog with long leathers. Now we'll turn him loose and you can watch him shake his head and go crazy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, he does like it. <laughs> so I said, that's why I recommend doing it right before you give him a bath. <laughs> but that kind of is a, the vinegar is kind of an antibacterial type of stuff. The peroxide bubbles and cleans it, and the alcohol kind of dries them out. So we'll do the next little fella. <laughs> And Albert, since he's a little older, he tends to have a little more problems with his ears being dirty. Poodles and stuff, the hair inside their ear tends to grow in. And you really have to, to basically pluck it. Which they don't really like to have the hair in their ears plucked because it's kind of painful to begin with. So like I said, you don't want to squeeze this hard. You just want it to... to get in there. Come here. So like I said, if you kind of turn their ear up like this, you can get it in there better. As you can see, I'm not squeezing it. It's just coming out on its own. And then put the leather over. And massage. And he don't like it either. <laughs> Do 
this before you give them a bath? <laughs> That's it, folks. Uh, I would recommend probably doing this about once a month, just to just to keep their ears fresh and you know kind of smell a little bit better because dog ears tend to have a little odor. So. Except in the winter time. Especially, well, in the winter time and stuff, you might have a little more trouble. But if you can put them in like a garage or something where they're not going to really hurt anything or shake all over your furniture, that's good. So, anyway, I'll see if I can have some more tips for you in some of my other videos. So, I'll talk to you later.